the article Pedestrians Crossing Behaviors and Safety at Unmarked Roadways in China modeled the time in seconds pedestrians wait at a median line at an unmarked road by the following PDF. 0.15 e to the negative 0.15 times x minus 1, where x is greater than or equal to 1. So if we want to find the CDF, then we need to calculate the integration from 1 up to x of the PDF 0.15 e to the negative 0.15, where t is going to be our placeholder where we integrate with respect to t. And so that way we will get a function of x when we make this integration. And so if we just integrate with respect to t, we get negative e to the negative 0 0.15 t minus 1. And we need to evaluate this expression from 1 to x. So here if we plug in x, we get negative e to the negative 0 0.15 x minus 1 minus a negative e to the negative 0 0.15, 1 minus 1. Well, of course, this is 0, so e to the 0 power is simply just equal to 1. And so this is a plus positive 1. So what that means here is we have this equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.15, x minus 1. So I've just flipped this around to look a little nicer. All right, so that is our cumulative density function, and now we can use that to find probabilities. So if we want to find the probability that the waiting time at the median is at most 5 seconds, then the greatest value would be 5. So that what we're asking in B here is what is the probability that x is less than 5, which is equal to f of 5 where the community density function is f, so we evaluate the community density function at 5, which is 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.15, 5 minus 1. So this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.15 times 4, which is equal to 0 0.4512. All right, so the likelihood that somebody waits at the median line um, for five or fewer seconds is 0.4512. All right, so then we want to know what is the probability the waiting time is longer than five seconds? Well, if we write this in notation, this is simply just the probability of x being greater than five, which is equal to one minus the probability that x is less than five, which is equal to one minus f of five. Well, since we've already figured this out on, in the previous problem, then this is pretty easy to find this complement, which is equal to one minus 0 0.4512, which is equal to 0. 5488. Alright, and so in the last problem, it's asking what is the probability that the waiting time is between 3 and 5 seconds? And so in notation, this is the probability that x is greater than 3 and less than 5, which is equal to the probability of x less than 5 minus the probability that x is less than 3, which is equal to f of 5 minus f of 3 which is then equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.15 of 5 minus 1 minus 1 plus e to the negative 0 0.15, where 3 minus 1 is our insert there. All right, and then if we just look at this expression and simplify it a little bit, we can see that we can cancel these ones. They're automatically going to um, erase each other. And we can see that if we bring this up, this is the positive value. This is equal to e to the negative 0 0.15 times 2. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And we're then subtracting e to the negative 0 0.15 times 4. And then this actually we've already calculated, and it is equal to 0 0.5488, and this is equal to 0 0.7408. So then the probability that 
The waiting time is between 3 and 5 seconds is equal to 0 0.1920. All right, and that's how we can use the cumulative density function to solve probability problems from a continuous random variable.